Okay, so I'm going to look at your cut line because it looks a little thick here. Um, should we at 0.25? That looks clean to me. But it looks like the image is, um, oh, this is really you big, so. in. Um, all right, let's see. This is the full image. I took the cut lines off. It is a little distorted on the ends. Um, but I like to pull it away here. And what I'm going to go to is image trace. Let me rinse my charger. So just right now I'm going to trace the image. And um, just plug this up. Really fast. Um, so I'm gonna trace it with <clears throat> an outline object image trace. We're going to expand it ungroup I, I always like to remove any of the white borders so with this one I'll probably have to go in and clean it up just a little bit because <clears throat> some of these letters just have a little bit on the outer parts and it can be like that sometimes with PNGs you'll have to clean up the image with this I probably would add a cut line here because when you merge it'll um, probably merge that since these are PNG letters and just clean up the yellow as well Sometimes with PNGs, if the letters look a little crazy, I'll just try to do it as a, um, like input a new letter. Because sometimes they can trace a little while, <laughs> but you may not be able to notice that H. Once it's smaller, I have it um, zoomed in at the moment. And with that, I'll add that, and just go, look at this, these bigger letters, I would just go in and add the um, cut line to these because it may um, merge all together once we duplicate and add the overall cut lines, but I like to just go in and make sure this um so with this one i will add the cut line in the white too so that it comes out so you'll be able to um weed it out and it'll be cut i'm not 100 percent sure about that that looks like the design and the melon we can clean up the ladybug a little here It looks like you wanted that to be a cut line too, so I'll add in these as cut lines in case you wanted to peel through. But I don't think it should be a cut line because um, it's on the number one, so it'll be blue behind it. So I'm going to zoom out a little. 
to see where we are in the design. We just gotta cut up, clean up these letters down here. Which I usually just do this because sometimes once you merge, the next step I'm about to do, I will show you that sometimes the inside of the letters won't add a cut line for some odd reason. So I just like to make sure they are there. And this is how I add my cut lines with Illustrator. So yeah, there we go. I think we are good to go. Um, great. So what I would do next is I would go to the layers and you have the original art file. I like to duplicate. So I like to duplicate the file twice. I like to add a bleed. This is the artwork and then this one will be the cut lines. So I'm going to lock the cut lines in the artwork right now and I will highlight everything and I'm going to hit unite and then go to object path offset path and basically what this does is it will I like to put this to three but it adds kind of like a back <laughs> um, hard to explain but it adds like a background border so when your printer is cutting sometimes the um, what is that sometimes it'll be off and it'll, it won't cut the full design properly so I like to give it a little more space so that it cuts the file the right way and I don't have any white space left so once I do that I lock the bleed line and then I go to the cut line and I'm going to select everything and do the same thing so here you can see I have some space some bleed behind the cut line so that works well it looks like we have some um, things we can clean up in here too so I'll clean those up as well but as I said before that's why I like to add the cut lines in between the letters when doing a PNG because sometimes when you merge it it will merge the full letter and will not include the cutout space you need so that's why I went ahead and added the cut lines in between the letters on the original art file it won't mess with anything it will cut it everything will work out perfectly so I am actually just going to see some of these um, some of this clip art has little tiny cuts I like to get rid of them because it can take a really long time for your printer to cut because it'll be cut in these really tiny cuts so I select and what's highlighted now is just those little tiny dots I take those out, it'll help the printer cut faster. Um, I've seen it on that one and this one. So you just right click, isolate, isolate selected group. I will copy, uh, oops, I didn't isolate it. There we go. I'm gonna highlight the full thing. And then this is what I'm deleting, just the little tiny blue dots. The one looks good. Everything else is probably good. It's usually on the, like, just the picture, the drawing of something. So we're going to go here and take off that and add the cut line. And if we zoom in, it looks like the cut line is exactly how you wanted it. Nice and on there. So there you go. I'll save that for you.